एज ए टीचर और एज ए साइंस टीचर वेन यू टीच इन योर क्लास रूम हाउ डू यू असेस योर लर्नर्स डू यू यूज ट्रेडिशनल यूनिट टेस्ट एंड अचीवमेंट टेस्ट और यू ट्राई टू यूज डिफरेंट वेज एंड डिफरेंट टूल्स टू असेस योर लर्नर्स वॉट एवर यू आर यूजिंग द क्वेश्चन इज वाई आर यू असेसिंग योर लर्नर्स यू आर असेसिंग योर लर्नर्स टू नो दैट वेदर द एक्सपेक्टेड लर्निंग आउटकम्स हैव बीन अचीव्ड और नॉट इट मीन्स दैट एवरी असेसमेंट हैज सर्टन ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड सर्टन एक्सपेक्टेशन टू मेक योर असेसमेंट मोर ऑथेंटिक वॉट यू नीड टू डू you need to develop certain indicators for assessment which can be used for effective assessment in your classroom i am dr gorav singh from school of education ignu your course instructor for the course pedagogy of science and today i am going to talk about the assessment indicators for science teaching learning which you can develop before assessing your learners what kind of assessment is there in science assessment in science basically promotes scientific inquiry it is linked with the cognitive level of your learners as well as it is comprehensive in nature in science assessment facilitates for development of process skills so if you need to promote the scientific inquiry among your learners you need to assess different cognitive levels whether it is knowing understanding exploring analyzing creating synthesizing whatever level you want to link with the assessment if you want to assess your learners in your science classroom not only for their knowledge about a particular content but also about the processes which have been involved in this scientific inquiry then you need to facilitate the development of process skills and you also need to assess that how these process skills have been developed among the learners so whole assessment has certain criteria these criteria are called assessment indicators so what are assessment indicators assessment indicators are the criteria which focus on development of science process skills when we plan assessment we have to identify the criteria on which any skill is to be assessed and the criteria on which development of any skill is being assessed is known as assessment indicator so what we need to do we need to find out a skill which we want to assess then we need to find out the indicators through which acquiring of that skill can be assessed so how we formulate the assessment indicators it is a process first we decide the content for which content we are going to do the assessment then for content we frame certain learning outcomes according to the label of the learner for the same type of content for class 6 the learning outcomes can be different for class 7 the learning outcomes are different for class 9 the learning outcomes are different you read the document issued by national council for educational research and training in crt and the cbsc on the learning outcomes in science you will learn that how learning outcomes at different level are different from each other now for that particular learning outcomes or the learning outcomes which have been decided for a level what are the key process skills which are to be developed and assessed that is the third step to identify the appropriate process skill linked with the learning outcome now the next step is what are the activities and processes which are involved in the development of that process skill for example communication is a process skill what activity you are organizing to develop the communication as a process skill what 
practical or theoretical content you are going to deliver or you are going to take the help to develop the, this particular process skill. Then if it is the activity, then how this activity will help in assessing achievement of that particular process skill that is called framing assessment indicators. So it is a long process. It starts with selection of the content, then move towards the identification of the learning outcomes and the key process skills involved which need to be assessed. Then you identify the activities or the processes which are involved in development of these process skills and then you frame assessment indicators. Let us see, for example, observation. Observation is a process skill. A teacher can give to the students different leaves of different shapes. A teacher can ask students to visit a garden and observe a flower and its part. A teacher can use an image formed by particular object and learners are expected to observe and report. Now suppose your focus is only the observation skill, then what will be the assessment indicators for that? The assessment indicators will be that whether children observe the critical characteristic of a thing, event or phenomena or not, are they able to differentiate between two similar things based on their observation or not? If they are doing so, it means you are going to assess the observation skill. So for assessing the achievement of observation skill, you have framed certain assessment indicators. Similarly, for inquiry skill, you can show a picture, you can show an image, you can show a video or you can ask your students to observe in the morning the sun is rises. Or sometimes they observe something in the sky in the night or many anything they observe. When they observe something continuously and they are not able to know that what it means, some inclusivity, some inquiry develops in them. And your objective is to develop the inquiry skill among the learner. So if you want to assess that whether inquiry has been developed among the learners or not, so what you will do? you will ask children to ask the questions. And if the questions of the children are starting with why, when, how, what, about various phenomena and about various things which you are uh, discussing with them and which they have observed or which they are observing, it means if they are able to formulate the questions with why, when, how and what about something which they have observed, it means the inquiry skill is developing among them. So you will not ask what are you seeing in the picture, they will say one sun and uh, mountain or stars in the sky, this is not this observation. Why it is happening? Why stars twinkle in the night? Why sun rises in the east? Why when sun rises is of different color than the color which we see of sun in the noon or evening? So these are the questions of critical inquiry. If students are able to ask certain questions, it means they are inquiring. Similarly, experimentation. In lab, you do different types of experiments. Different types of experiments you do. You ask your students to do different types of experiments. But what is the objective in the experimentation? Whether the objective is to develop experimental skill, observation skill, precision skill, handling skill or the objective is to get the desired result from the experiment. So for experimentation, what should be your assessment indicators? Your assessment indicators should be that learners are able to perform the experiment systematically under your guidance. Are they following the correct procedure for the experimentation? Have they learned how to handle the equipment with care? Similarly, another skill is classification. You may ask students by giving them some pictures, some cutouts, some models of different animals and plants to classify them. For example, if it is an activity based on the pictures of or the cutouts of animals, 
you can ask your students to classify them in herbivore and carnivore similarly if it is a chemistry class you can ask that which one is solvent which one is solute which one is solution whether it is a solution or it is a suspension or it is a colloidal solution so many things are there they need to classify by observing by handling by using some criteria so if your students are able to identify the similarities between two objects or phenomena it means this is the skill which you want to develop and this need to be assessed if they are able to point out the differences this to be assessed if they are able to group certain objects on the basis of any similar characteristics in different different groups this is called classification so these are the assessment indicators for classification similarly for planning in her classes like in 9th 10th or 6th onwards you ask children to organize certain activities to plan about an experiment about an inquiry about certain observations so if children are able to list the different steps of an experiment of an inquiry of a, of an observation and if they are able to define their role in a group activity what i will do what other will do it means they are good in planning so these are the assessment indicators for planning phase similarly if you are organizing a group activity and your children are able to organize the activity if they are able to cooperate within the group performance if they are able to manage the activities in the desired manner then these are the indicators for organization similarly for collecting and presentation of the data if children are able to collect the relevant data with precision so this is a assessment indicator for collection and presentation of data what should be the assessment indicator for recording of the data participate in the events on pollution wastage or conservation if they believe in group task and respect and value the contribution of other members in the group if they believe in their own and others capabilities and are aware of their own limitations too if they are ready to help others in group during the group task or to help them in overcoming their limitations and they are comfortable in seeking help from others in the group it means that values attitude and concerns are developing among them so you must have observed that for every skill which you need to develop among the learners you may require certain assessment indicators let us see some concrete examples for example planning for the debate is a learning indicator for this learning indicator you need to develop assessment indicators what will be those willingness to participate in the organization of the event selection of the relevant sub themes assigning responsibilities to all members of the group with their consent for communication skill it can be use of vocabulary and command over language confidence and logic while articulating considering and counting others view point during the deliberation and including all final details all finer details for values and attitude assessment indicators can be to what extent have others views have been considered the degree of cooperation among all the learners concentration and effectiveness of the task chosen by the children cooperating with others in the group of providing supportive data and encouragement what will be the reporting for reporting assessment indicators can be are they communicating in simple language is the narration understandable all the important facts and events of the part have been explained in the narration so similar examples will help you to understand that how you can frame assessment indicators but my suggestion is whatever tool you are planning to use for assessment whatever method you are planning for assessment whatever duration and time you are planning for assessment whether it is continuous assessment whether it is terminal assessment but before assessment identify the skill or objectives to be achieved then how you can assess that means the assessment indicators are essential for any assessment tool so before developing any assessment tool any assessment item develop assessment indicators only then you will be able to do justice with the assessment process in science thank you very much